Hey, I just want to take a second to remind everyone to join me at 4 p.m. Pacific time today. That's 4 p.m. on the West Coast, 7 p.m. on the East Coast for my live question and answer session, Shooting It With Yankee. That's Shooting It With Yankee, not Yanking It With Shooty like some people like to call it. Uh, so join me today, 4 p.m. on the West Coast, 7 p.m. on the East Coast. I also wanted to say, I think I've got my sound issues worked out. I got a new boom mic up above me here. When I rearranged back to a real background, I had to work out new sound solutions because the old one was not working. But I think I got it fixed now, so this should sound better. And hopefully my videos from now on will sound better. Uh, and since I got nothing else really to say in this video, instead I'm just making a 30 second video, I thought I would actually answer some questions some people have asked me already. And that is about my new background. Like, what is in my new background? As you can see, I've gone back to a more traditional background. Didn't want to do the green screen all the time anymore, so I'm doing something a little different. So I thought I'd take a second today to let people know what's actually in the background because they've been asking. So if you take a look right here on the top row, you'll see that I have my Punisher flag that I got from Spikes Tactical. I've got my John Wayne 10, big John Wayne fan that I got from another uh, fellow gun lover over on gunchannels.com. I got some patches here that are variations on the Every Second uh, Matters patches. And on the end, I have a piece of art by Daryl White. Uh, this is called Forged From Freedom. Uh, not to be confused with Forge from Freedom that makes most of the t-shirts you see me wearing. This is an actual print that he sent me. Uh, it's a, an old World War II style, 1911. I'll try to give you a better look here uh, with the Constitution in the top half. And I believe that's a Civil War battle map in the bottom half. I'm not really certain, but I think that's what it is. Really like this piece. Just had it framed, had it put on the wall here. Looks really nice. Then if you move down here to the bottom row, you'll see my Kiapa poster, of course. I really like Kiapas. Uh, then you'll see my zombie war sword. You know, I'm a big zombie fan, love the zombie genre. And then you will see another piece of artwork that's actually very uh, specific to me by Lauren Mitchkey. I hope I'm saying his name right. He's an artist from West Virginia. He's a fellow West Virginian. In fact, I think he went to the same college as me. I think he's from Marshall University. I uh, really love this. He drew this pen and ink of my everyday carry gun really really like this had it framed and put on the wall here it's probably my favorite art piece now in the house and then next to that is one of my old holsters from my old sas days even has my sas badge on it there that's a ruger vaquero single action and it, yes it is a real gun now people are saying well you shouldn't leave real guns around well my youngest son's 13 now and it's not loaded so it's not really a risk anymore so i feel perfectly safe putting that on the wall then I got my Star Trek phaser because I'm a big trekker. And then I got the little bayonet, little pistol bayonet there in zombie green. That's actually the one that I'm being chased with in the opening of my videos, but I painted it black for that so it would match the Glock. But I uh, have that there. And then I just have some more patches, you know, some spam can lid patches, every second matter patch, a gun channels patch, you know, a Glock patch, etc. Just some patches to fill the space in. Then when you go over here to the right of me, you've got the stuff on top of my safe. You know, everyone knows Marvin. Marvin's been with me from the beginning. Uh, in the presentation box is my engraved Smith & Wesson. Uh, then I got my little Harley Quinn there. Got my Godzilla pop. I'm a huge Godzilla fan. Huge Harley Quinn fan. And then I got Peg Leg Pete from, I think, the 1997 Disney Anna. Uh, big Disney fan also. I love anything animation, pretty much. So this shows a lot of my personality. Everything in here has got a little bit of my personality in it. Uh, well, except for maybe the sword behind it because I just have that for, you know, zombies. Uh, you know, I don't remember what that's called. There's a special name for those short katanas like that. I always call it wasabi or something like that. Although I think that might be a mustard. But, uh, you know, it's one of those weird sounding names for a short katana. And then under that is the reason that I made the new background. I got this nice new safe from Liberty Safe. So I thought, you know, why don't I go back to my roots? Like when I used to stand in front of my safes and do my videos, I thought those were more personal than the green screen videos. So once I got this, then I put everything else together, had my new background. Now this safe is actually empty right now, of course, because when I got it, I wasn't out of safe space. So for the first time in my life, I've got excess safe space, uh, which is probably not a good thing. I shouldn't be trusted with that because now I'll try to fill it. But really can't wait to get this filled up. I'm hoping to bring some really special guns home soon that uh, this safe is worthy of. This safe, I'll feel safe putting them in because this is going to be a real tough safe to get into. So there you have it. There's my new background. So remember to join me today, 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern time for Shooting It With Yankee. And there's a look at my new background.